Hello and welcome to another special video review and today something eh, very different. <laughs> We're taking a look at the Attack Girl Gun, Lady Commander, Alice Set Box and the Blast Girl Gun. What the hell is this? So oh, <laughs> this is crazy. I I guarantee that's the reason why I bought it. Uh, there's a TV show. Uh, it's only one season. It's created by Bandai. It's a TV show about uh, girls making plastic models and then battling uh, to the death. <laughs> Very gory and bloody uh, fight to the death. Uh, at school, it just it, it's just ridiculous. The TV show is kind of fun. It, it's ridiculous. There's no logic. It defies logic, actually, and it's pretty fun. So the, the whole story is about like you can see characters from here. They're they're live action. It's a live action TV series. So you have this girl who uh, just arrived at school, and she's into uh, plastic model kits. So she makes uh, plastic figures, sort of like Gundam models, and she's really into it. And uh, she's so, sort of uh, a nerd because of it. <laughs> and one day she enters a new shop, uh, a new shop of uh, uh, plastic model figurines, and the the the, <laughs> the guy that owns the shop sells her this kit right here. It's a kit above a figurine and a pistol. And the guy just sells her like really like oh my god this set changed my life and it will change yours you've got to do it so she buys the set she arrives home she makes the tiny figurine it's a cute uh, figurine kind of look like a Mits uh, Hatsune Miku sort of and then she makes the pistol and it, the pistol doesn't make really sense with the figurine and uh, okay she 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 likes it. And then comes midnight and she wakes up at school where she has the gun in hand. And this figurine is now a uh, live action character. She's right here. Uh, she, she <laughs> And she tells her like, yep, yeah, well, you're now in a alternate universe where you have to uh, do battle against all the other classmates uh, to survive. And kill each other with these guns. <laughs> it's ridiculous for a premise of a show but it's actually kind of fun and I bought the main kit and the uh, bigger kit because I'll explain this later well yeah it's a really fun show uh, I think it's free on YouTube I'm gonna try and find it and put the link in the description below check it out it's fun but in the meantime I've got the first set right here that comes with the figurine and the pistol so there you go i'll talk more about the show later because there's it, it's just so crazy there's so much amount of crazy stuff going on in the tv show so yeah right here we have uh, a couple of more shots of the figure so you have the tiny figurine called alice this is the uh, commander sort of of the, the 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 girls and you have the pistol it's sort of transformed like this you have a different model like this, more shots of Alice right here, and yeah, we have some more shots. We got stickers, and we got some more characters, which are uh, the opponents. Uh, the, the the girls like this, the, the figurines are commanders, and when midnight strikes, they become live action girls, and yeah, and they they all have their signature weapons, so. It's crazy, I tell you. So let's just open up the box, see what's inside real quick. Oh, come on, there you go. So, yeah, we got stuff like that. And it's a uh, model kit. There's no need for glue. You just put those on, uh, snap on, and there you go. And this is a really big kit because, like I said, this is a two sets. You have the pistol and a girl. So, yeah, so I'm going to start making the, the, the commanders. Uh, figurine right now and uh, we'll come back right after so here we have the uh, commander lady uh, Alice all done so I haven't started the gun I'll do it afterward just want to show the figure and it's really nice there's a lot of stickers so got details on the boots everywhere pretty cool kind of really nice articulated although uh, a bit fragile uh, especially uh, the kneecaps here the, the the, not the joint, but the, the actual kneecap that loves to pop out for some reason. I don't know why, but uh, 
Yeah. Yep. Just popped out the leg, speaking of which. There you go. <laughs> but yeah, she is very articulated. We have this stand right here for the figurine. Not necessary, she can stand on her own. Now that I say it, it doesn't work, but... <laughs> Come on. She is a bit back heavy because of the... Uh, thing here which is a scope we'll come back to this later but <laughs> very cool she can have her helmet on there you go she is very articulated the neck is articulated ball joint everywhere arms swivels double jointed we do have a, a waist and a abdomen articulation so it's pretty cool Legs can spread out, can go forward, backward a little bit, can rotate at the thigh. Like I said, the knee bends. Eh, didn't pop out. Usually does pop out when I bend the knee, but no, alright, it's cool. Uh, we have the boot that can go up, down, a little bit swivel. So, yeah, very cool. Nice detail. We do have, oh, stand her up. We do have extra face. We have an angry face and a happy sort of face. I've put the normal stoic face. I like it better. So, yeah, very cool. And yeah, in the show, uh, she's just a figurine, but turned out midnight, she becomes like a real person and guides the girl and uh, drag them to come back. <laughs> so, yeah. And, uh, I don't know, I can maybe... Uh, Start working on the pistol, and uh, yeah, I'll come back. So, there you go. The gun is all completed with the stand and everything, so <laughs> very cool. You can remove it from the stand right here, and you have the pistol. Now, it's really small, but it's like that in the show, and I have big hands, so it doesn't help. Do you have some clicking sound? What's... <laughs> Again, in the TV show, it's pretty cool because the gun, uh, like I said, it becomes real at night. But, you know, in the series, there's like a couple of uh, attachment. So if you add this to it, it becomes a melee weapon. So now she can just whack people. <laughs> it, it's pretty crazy. She doesn't... Only one... I think one of the girls uses the melee attachment and actually hits someone with it. So it's pretty cool that we have the... Uh, the uh, extension for it we have a couple of bullets which are kind of decent and they're not like really uh, bullets uh, themselves they're like uh, mags clips or uh, cartridge I don't know what the correct term for this but there's several bullets in this so she just load it up and can shoot several times and when it's run out she just pop it out pop another one in there you go and she can continue so yeah and in the uh, fights <laughs> when they run out of bullets they it's like a, 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 an arena in a video game there's like bullets hidden left and right in the school so they have to find more bullets if they want to shoot <laughs> so when they run out they have to run away and find bullets but <laughs> the catch is that is completely ridiculous <laughs> is uh, when they find bullets in the wild like in school they have to assemble it. It's it it comes on sprues, and they 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 just have to take cover with the packet of bullets, and then start building the bullets, <laughs> kind of like a toy, and then load it back up, and then go back to fight. So <laughs> that's pretty cool. But that's not all, because in the TV show also uh, the uh, captain or uh, commander, as they call it, uh, they can join uh, the girls during the fight. The problem is, it's very risky because if a, a, ca a commander uh, dies during the battle while because she joined on the battlefield, uh, she dies, uh, the, the whole team is eliminated. So it's very risky, but the thing is they can combine and when they combine, I'm gonna show you, uh, the gun becomes more powerful, uh, bullets becomes uh, like almost uh, homing, <laughs> that doesn't make sense. But yeah, when she she wants to join Battlefield, she turns back into that figurine. She, she's no longer human. She comes back into a figurine. And that's where the fun begins because the gun transforms. So you pull this out. Pull, the wings will extend. And then you pull this up. And then you extend the whole thing. Then you open up these like this. 
and you open up these like this and now it's ready to receive the uh, commander so I haven't done this before so let's try it right here so you remove this so basically you just put her into a seated position Oop. that leg loves to pop out so like this bring it like this the feet will uh, sort of hook onto these like you, you put the uh, heels like this so insert the heels uh, onto these uh, plates there you go like this now she is seated and then you can give her the handles like this bend the arm a little bit there you go and then she drops that and this goes up like this and you have this part right here which is kind of hard there you go you unfold this pull it out bring this down and tab it onto the bike there you go and now she's part of the gun and the gun becomes stronger by itself so you, can, you have the scope right here you have the view and then she just pew pew pew, pew. <laughs> and the gun becomes so much stronger so <laughs> <laughs> I swear you not. I swear it is it's really ridicule. But the, the whole thing about the TV show is that it, it doesn't take it, it doesn't take itself too seriously, and that's amazing because it's just funny. It's just out there, but it's great. So there you go. We have the combination of the Commander Alice set box for the pistol and Commander. So very cool. And one, I uh, just want to mention it, but yeah, in the TV show, it's just really cool. Uh, every couple of episodes, the girls are like all gathered up together and they built their gun and it's like a social event. It's super fun. The girls are having like the, the best time of their lives building these things. <laughs> that, yeah, of course, the show is, you know, made for selling these toys and they go to extra length. To make this as the best social experience with friends ever and stuff like that. <laughs> there's like they are building the the, the, the figure it's, there's like a montage scene and there's a backup singers and dancers just to make it more appealing it's just so crazy <laughs> and even at the end of each episode there's one of the actress that actually builds the thing, the, the real thing in front of the, us and just talks, you know, it's like a basic interview, but while she's building the gun and the toys, <laughs> it's just so funny. But uh, yeah, this is for the Attack Girl Gun Lady Commander Alice set box, but we also have the Blast Girl Gun. Now in the TV show, like I mentioned, for the bullets uh, scattered around uh, our hidden bullets, there's also hidden guns and in the TV show when they find the hidden gun it's like that it's a box <laughs> and they have to open it and take cover and build the thing on the battlefield while she's getting shot to build the whole thing <laughs> that's amazing <laughs> it's just so funny but and the, the the craziest thing in the TV show uh, the, the the very first time they find one of the gun the, the girl builds it in like two minutes it's it's insane <laughs> this took me maybe an hour to build <laughs> the bullets weren't that long so reloading for me would wouldn't take that long maybe like two minutes <laughs> to build the bullets so if i need I ran out of bullets eh, not that bad but finding a gun and trying to build it on the field oh my god <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna try and build this thing right now and come back right after. And here we have the set all completed. So yeah, we're only taking a look of these two. So let's check out the main <laughs> blast girl gun. <laughs> and it's really cool. All the stickers are applied. So it looks really nice. And it's very, very cool <laughs> build actually. Uh, I wasn't expecting much, but yeah, it's pretty cool. You can hold it. It holds pretty good. It's kind of tight for my big hands, but you know, it's really great. Uh, we have a stand right here that comes with it so you can, you know, display it however you want. But the stand can be removed, so there you go. That's just the main gun, like this. And yeah, very nice build. 
very easy i even forgot one piece like that piece right here i forgot it at the end of the build i had like that one piece sticking out like on the <laughs> on my table and i had to remove everything because that's part of a one uh, one of the first piece you build is like the handle so i almost had to take it all apart completely and reassemble it and it wasn't much trouble so very nice so yeah really cool uh, we do have trigger action here and if you have that button you push it and it should lock or is it like this yeah it, it locks the trigger so clicked it and the trigger doesn't work and then you put it forward and now you know it's a safety that's <laughs> pretty cool uh, what else uh, we have the barrel right here with the bullets and if you want to open it you have to push this and then it frees it and then you have the bullets it comes with three bullets which are removable of course so it's the same bullets as the pistol and what's cool is that we had two left uh, two bullets left and they fit into this so very nice now everything has place there you go very cool of course it rotates and you can close it and then you pull this back and it locks it in so very nice very cool looking we have also the gimmick where uh, you can uh, pull the handle so we now you have a stock for it it's pretty long it feels a little bit cheap but it's okay very cool <laughs> so yeah and if you want to close it it locks so you have to press this button right here and then it will retract so oh, very cool well you have to say less details but still nice <laughs> and yeah like I mentioned in the TV show when they find the gun uh, they have to build it <laughs> it's in the box and they have to build it <laughs> and another kind of uh, spoiler scene maybe is that uh, it does combine with the pistol and the uh, commander girl so that's really cool so <laughs> let's take a look so in the TV show you have the stock open and if you want to combine you have this thing right here you open it up it goes like this it kind of locks the uh, stock also so now you have that part right here and you lift this up and you can see this actually you know activates also you open up these handles and these uh, sort of steps right here bring them down and on the other side too like such now you take the pistol not for with the stand there you go and you close the handle like this and you need to insert the pistol like this and bring it down and it should lock it should lock into place I'm not too sure about that anymore oh like this there you go there you go forgot so it locks like this and now you take the commander and you sit her like this sort of like a speed bike position so you have to bring her legs oops like this oh i said it earlier the knee pads on her loves to pop out i don't know why but yeah so you bring this like this that's like this and now you have to install her kind of like a speed bike so you sit her like this you bring the legs in and tap it in like this same thing on the other side there you go and now you make her sort of a sit like this sit like this and bring the hand here and on here and now you bring her head rest down kind of hard to see Oop. and you bring this down also Oop. her arm popped off Maybe I should put this on the stand because <laughs> like this. Yeah, like this. All right. Yeah, much better. So, are you seeing? Yeah, okay. So, I'm just going to pop her arm back in. Bring it down. Put it on here. The head like this. Helmet like this. And you have, again, that uh, part right here. You have to uh, pop out. There you go. Pull on it. And now you have to plug it in her back. Uh, I want to plug it in there. You go like this. Wait, 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 wait. 
there you go, like this. And she left go of this again. So there you go. She's now on the gun and all combined. And now it's like the ultimate weapon. <laughs> kind of hard to see. There you go. So yeah, now it's kind of like the super... Uh, it, it turns into from a machine gun to a sort of bazooka when everything is installed on it. It's just crazy. <laughs> but yeah, when she does that par play, uh, yeah, the gun becomes super powerful. There's actually another add-on kit. I don't have it, unfortunately. And uh, yeah, it's like a, a, the end game cannon where there's like another gun that connects here at front and makes it uh, so huge <laughs> but, yeah it's just crazy and i just love it everything connects and everything fits fine and it's great i love this <laughs> so yeah this is the blast girl gun based off the tv show i'm gonna put the i'm gonna try and find the series i think it's on youtube i'm gonna put the link in the description below go and watch it it's like 10 episodes of 20 minutes, so it's like a two-hour show total. It's great. It doesn't make sense. It's just so ridicule, but at the same time, it's fun and entertaining. It's also violent because there's a lot of blood, so <laughs> be mindful of that. And it has a cool build. And the show really, really emphasizes on the uh, the toy and building the, the, the guns and having fun socially and everything. And... The girls are all building the guns <laughs> together and having a blast with music videos and everything. <laughs> it's just so ridiculous. But it's great. It is all that nonsense that makes the show great and the toy great. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, high recommend for me. It's fun. It's actually a really fun build. So, yeah, go and check it out. I got this from Hobby Link Japan. It was on sale. I think this... The whole commander and pistol kit was on sale for $30, and this whole gun I think was $15 or $20. Not, it, it's pretty cheap, so very cool, very fun. My only grab is the figure, the commander figure is a little bit uh, flimsy, uh, it falls apart easily. You saw the, the, the elbow and the knee pad uh, popping off easily. Uh, the, the, yeah, the, the figure itself is kind of uh, flimsy and weak, but the guns are very nice, very fun to build uh, the stock feels cheap but the rest of the gun feels very nice and solid i just wish ah oh, if only it could shoot darts like nerf darts i would have been in paradise <laughs> but it doesn't it, it just uh, it just makes clicking sound that's it but i wish we could have like uh, nerf darts that shoots from it it would have been so great but still very nice build highly recommend go check it out Otherwise, you know the song, like, subscribe, leave a comment, blah, blah, blah. I thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.